My name is Mohamed Zakwani Mohamed. I'm a bookkeeping teacher at Form 2 class. Topic today is bank reconciliation statement. By the end of this topic, the student should be able to distinguish between bank statement and bank reconciliation statement. Second, to identify the importance of bank reconciliation statement. Third, to identify reason or for the disagreement of cash book and bank statement balances. Fourth, preparation of bank reconciliation statement with adjusted cash book and without adjusted cash book. Welcome to our bookkeeping session. Today, we continue with the bank reconciliation statement. Okay, we are starting on bank statement. Have you ever heard about the bank statement? Where? Janet, at home. Whoa, you are joking. Yes, Mwini. At bank or at the internal auditor office. Good. Can you hear or see bank statement to different place that manage fund? Can you define bank statement? Thank you for trying. Bank statement is a document. Bank statement is a document or statement issued by the bank to its customer showing the transaction dealing between the bank and the customer for specified period or for time usually one monthly. Dear student and viewer, let us to see the example of bank statement. Example number one. The example number one discuss about uh, bank statement. I think we have already discussed the what is a bank statement. The bank statement is a document drawn by the bank to show the transaction made by the customer usually a one month. The example said is that the following information is provided by the farmer's bank to you as a bank teller concerning her customer, hold the current account known as Kilua, accounting number 0459300, Tungo branch, require post the following transaction to the Kilua Kitam bank statement on 13th April 2009. Okay. First of all, should you write the bank name, Farmers Bank, Farmers Bank, then write the accounting number, accounting number zero. Accounting number zero one four five nine one four five nine three zero zero. Then type of account types of account. That is current account, current account, and name of accounting holder, name, key, key, Okay. 
then we uh, then we look at another information that is a branch in the period 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 start first April two zero zero nine to two thirteenth April two zero zero nine. The branch name Tungu put here branch branch Tungu. After that, will it draw a line? Then put here the line, put another line, put line, say that it did. Here is detail. Debit. Credit. Balance. balance after that refer to the questions on 1st April Kilua Bank statement show the credit balance of 26,000 says that 1st April 2009 Balance BD twenty six thousand. Then at the third April, check of Tanzania shillings two thousand three hundred and fifty was drawn by Kilua, entered in a cash book, presented and accepted for. Payment by the farmers bank. Okay, this is a presented check. Presented check, you say that is third April two zero zero nine check. This is a presented check. You put here two thousand three hundred. And the fifth deducting from twenty six twenty six thousand minus two thousand three hundred and fifty twenty three remain twenty three six hundred and fifty. After that Continue with the next transactions. Fourth April check of Tanzania shillings of two thousand five hundred and thirty were received by Kilua, paid and credited into the farmers bank. This is a credited check. The credited check it means a deposited check. Therefore, shall be right to the debits should be right to the credit side by setting that check of two thousand five hundred and thirty set is that fourth April two thousand and nine. Here we add it to the balance two thousand five thirty will receive 
26, 108. Okay. A 6 April, payment against standing order amount of Tanzania shillings, 3,100. 6 April 2009, you put standing order. Show in a debit. Okay. Minus to the balance. You got uh, twenty three zero eighty twenty three thousand and eight. Okay. After that, we continue with the another transactions on eighth April. Said is that bank charge of 1800 charged for service charge. Bank charge as April 2009. Bank charge put in a debit side. Deduct from the balance. The balance is twenty three thousand and eighty minus one thousand eight hundred. You receive twenty one thousand two hundred and eighty. Okay. We continue with another transactions is dividend collected by the farmers bank on behalf of Kiula. Kiula receive a dividend, but the bank collected the dividends on behalf of Kiula. Therefore, you said that a dividend. How much dividend two thousand seven hundred and fifty? Put here on credit two thousand seven hundred and fifty. This is a uh, income for Kula. You add it to the balances plus twenty one two hundred and eighty. We got. Uh, You got uh, twenty four zero thirty twenty four thousand and thirty. Okay. Another one is April Kiula data pay their debt through the farmer through the farmers bank without inform Kiula of uh, Four hundred is and if four thousand five hundred is okay. This is a credit transfer or direct deposit. Direct deposit or credit transfer. You will receive 4,500 is from, from his data or her data on 24th, 24th April 2009. You add here that uh, Four, five hundred is 
you receive 28,530. 28,530. Okay. This is a banking statement of Kiula. Show that the debit side is a side of payment and the credit side is a side of receipt for Kiula. Thank you. What is a bank reconciliation statement? A bank reconciliation statement refer to the statement prepared to reconcile the cash book balances and the bank statement balances. It is drawn to make the cash book balances agrees with the bank statement balances. Dear student and other viewer, let us now look at the importance of bank reconciliation statement. Can you mention the importance of bank reconciliation statement? Yes, Khalifa. Identify the missing information from both accounts. Up to date the bank account after obtaining the missing information. Thank you for trying, Khalifa. The importance of bank reconciliation statement are to identify the missing information from both accounts information such as unpresented check, bank charge, uncredited check will be shown on the bank on the bank statement another one to up to date the bank account after obtaining the missing information the account can be prepared again to in, again to include the information that was not available initially another one correct the arithmetic error if there is any arithmetic error in the recording of the various transactions, such as error will be corrected the moment the error are identified. This will help to prepare final copy that have no arithmetic error. Also to know whether these error are valid ones or not make a corrective measure. Another one is for balance sheet owners. The balance to the, the the balance to be shown in the balance sheet is that per cash book after it has been written up to date. Dear student and other viewer, let us to see the brief description for reason for the disagreement for the cash book balance and the bank statement balance. One is unpresented check. These are check drawn and entered in the cash book but not yet presented at the bank for payment until after the bank statement is prepared. Unpresented check are shown on the credit side of the cash book and are not seen on the debit side of the bank statement. Second, uncredited check. Uncredited check or bank lodging, lodgement not yet credited. These are check received and entered in the cash book on the debit side, but not credited by the bank until after preparation of the bank statement. Third, standing order. Standing order, this is a, an instruction by the bank customer to his bank to pay a specified amount of money to name the person on his behalf. Standing order are not recorded in the cash book until when the bank customer receive a bank statement. Fourth, credit transfer or direct deposit. Credit transfer, 
sometimes the data may pay their bill through the bank without information without informing you or you may receive money from your friend relative through your account without notify you this amount will appear in the bank statement but not seen in a cash book fifth bank charge bank charge refer to the amount charged by the bank for the service provided to the customer bank charge reduces the amount on the account holder and accounting holder cannot determine it until he or she receive a bank statement dear student and other viewer another one is a dividend dividend is a unit of profit of joint stock company public company pay dividend through bank therefore the customer to know that he has received a dividend first receive a bank statement another one is interest charge interest charge especially on overdraft sometimes bank customer withdraw money in excess of what is stand on the account when some amount is withdrawn in excess the bank always charge interest on the excess amount withdrawn this amount will appear on the bank statement and not in the cash book another one is errors sometimes there are mistake in the preparation of the cash book and in bank statement this mistake also cause a disagreement and the last one is a dishonored check dishonored check these are check refused by the bank for payment when check are received they are entered in the cash book and then and then taken to the bank for payment when the bank refuses to pay money on such check checkies then the cash book balance will differ from the bank statement dear student and other viewer let us now move to the possible reason of this honored check yes maria can you try good thanks lack of sufficient fund if a drawer has died or become bankrupt if a drawer has instruct bank not pay if amount in word differ from those in figure if check is is stale or be a 6 months since it is drawn if a post dated check if check is not signed by the drawer if signature deferred a drawer has a close and if a drawer has closed his account dear student and other viewers let us see the step that are used to prepare bank reconciliation statement started earlier as a bank reconciliation statement is prepared to reconcile the cash book balance and the bank balance bank statement balance it is prepared at the end of the month because the bank statement it is issued at the end of the month and also the cash book is balanced at the end of the month step 1 preparation of bank reconciliation statement starting with balance as per cash book without adjust cash book start with the balance per cash book add and presented check add direct deposit add dividend received less uncredited check less standing order 
less bank charges, less this Hanadi check, then less interest charges. You got a balance per bank statement CD. Step two, preparation of bank reconciliation statement starting with balance as per bank statement without a just cash book. Balance as per bank statement, BD, add uncredited check, add standing order, add bank charge, add dishonored check, add interest charges, less unpresented check, less direct deposit or credit transfer, less dividend, you got a balance per cash book. Step three, prepare a bank reconciliation statement starting with the balance as per adjusted cash book. We can also Prepare a bank reconciliation statement using a adjusted cash book. A adjusted cash book means entering items in the cash book which appear in a bank statement only and the end of the month such item include bank charge, standing order, credit transfer, dividend, dishonored check, and etc. Okay, the format of the adjusted cash book. There is a debit side and a credit side. Starting with a debit side, you see that the balance, and then credit side, you see that the bank charge. Then we come to the debit side, we see that the dividend, and the credit side, you see that the standing order. Debit side, we see that the credit transfer. And the credit side, we see that the interest charge. Then come to the debit side, we see that the direct deposit. Come to the credit side, we see that it is Hanadi check. And at the end, we see that the balance CD that's shown in a credit side. Prepare a bank statement with a adjusted cash book. Prepare bank reconciliation statement with adjusted cash book. Start with the balance per adjusted cash book. Add unpresented check. Less uncredited check. We got balance as per bank statement. B. Prepare bank reconciliation statement starting with the balance as per bank statement. Okay, we started to the balance per bank statement, add uncredited check, less unpresented check. We got a balance as per adjusted cash book. Note, in preparing a bank reconciliation statement, starting with balance as per adjusted cash book, we only consider unpresented check and uncredited check. Because other items like bank charge, dividend, standing order are already adjusted in the cash book. Okay, dear viewer and student, thank you for listening. I think you enjoyed the lesson and we'll see you to the next lesson. Thanks a lot.